Hello everybody and welcome to the Ideal Video Blog. I'm your host Wade Fisher coming to you today from Navasota, Texas here at Sexing Technologies. Today we want to welcome Dustin Dean. Dustin, happy to have you on the show. Dustin's going to be our second co-host here. He's going to talk a little about uh, Sexing Technologies, but before we get into Sexing, Dustin, tell me about you. Where do you come from and, and who are who is Dustin Dean? Well, nobody's interested in that, but we'll, we'll talk about it since you asked, I guess. Um, I'm originally from North Texas, up by Wichita Falls. My family's been ranching up there commercially for, for quite a while now. And um, I committed the ultimate sin in this state. I, I went to Texas Tech and A&M both at the same time. That'd be like going to New Mexico and New Mexico State or right. Iowa and Iowa State at the same time. But I don't care. I got a good education out of it. And um, some people say that I finished up right by going to A&M, but the best thing that came out of A&M was that's where I met my wife. So uh, Awesome. And we, we clash all the time because my whole family is hardcore Red Raider. My sister was homecoming queen at Texas Tech. Annie's whole family is hardcore Aggie. I mean, it, it's just, it's it's like this all the time, but that makes that makes for a fun marriage. Right. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, but I'm the director of beef programs here at Sexing Technologies. Been here for a few years now, and um, they brought me on to to help out on the beef side and we really need to, to, to kick start and, and launch this beef program into the next hemisphere which we've been very fortunate so far and uh, that's what we've seen happen. You know we're standing here in Navasota at Sexing Technologies but give me a, an idea of, of what part of the place we are. It's a pretty good sized facility uh, it's it's right in between College Station in Navasota on Highway 6 as you know and when you're driving down Highway 6 you see the sign that says Sexing Technologies but the building directly behind us is our new embryo division. Um, we have an embryo division, which a lot of people don't realize, right. and it's quite large. There's over, uh, easily over 1,000 donors and recipients here. And uh, this is our brand new embryo division. The barn is absolutely huge. Uh, state-of-the-art equipment in there where we specialize uh, mainly in IVF. I do quite a bit of flushing as well. Um, from this point forward, is where all of our bulls are housed. There's about 200 bulls here right now, a lot of dairy, a lot of beef. There's also another division a lot of people don't realize. Uh, we have an export division. We're one of the largest live cattle, live animal exporters uh, of U.S. cattle in the country. But what I want to focus on for just a second is more on the sex semen side. Mm -hmm. Explain to me, you know, if I've got a bull that I want to do this with or I want to use the bull on sex semen, you know, what, what does that mean? What am I looking at to get from there? Yeah, well, there's a lot of people that are watching this probably that, that have your own bull that you want to produce sex semen on, or you know of another bull that someone else owns, right. you know, uh, that, that, uh, that you would like to get sex semen on that bull. Um, there's three ways to get sex semen. The first way is to buy it from one of the major AI studs. ABS, Select Sires, Gen X, Accelerated Genetics, um, they all have our sorting machines in their office that make sex semen on the bulls in their lineup. So you can pick up the catalog and, and, and buy it directly out of the catalog. Right. Um, the other way is to uh, buy it from somebody who had it custom produced on their own bull. Uh, there's a lot of club calves that are being sorted right now in the beef industry. And the third way is to have it made on your own bull. And uh, to have it made on your bull, there's two ways to do that. You can bring the bull directly to us here in Texas. We house that bull for you. We jump that bull for you and make sex semen. The other way is to have that bull collected at your local independent collection facility. Any, any local semen collection center, you know, wherever that may be, that person, um, all we have to do is get in contact with that facility. They jump the bull, they collect the ejaculate, extend it, make sure the quality looks really, really good, and then they send that ejaculate to us in the mail, and uh, we can sort it. And so there's three places that we can sort that semen for you. Our global headquarters is here in Texas, and I didn't say this earlier, but we're in about eight or nine different countries now, and so it's a quite large company. But we have another facility in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, and then we have a new facility that's in Fullerton, Nebraska, that's about two hours west of Omaha and about an hour north of, of Grand Island. So at all three of those places, you can we have ejaculates shipped in there on a daily basis, and we, and we make sex semen, freeze it, make sure it passes QC, and then send it back to the customer. But if, if I've got the, the donor cow and I want to do the IVF, I can bring it right here to right. Navasota and get it all done right. without leaving here. Right. But right. I can't use sex semen for that? Oh, you absolutely can use sex semen for that. You can? The ultimate way to do that is, is if you brought your donor cow to that facility, plus if you own the bull at the same time, that's the ultimate way because we can jump your bull, make the sex semen right over here, leave it fresh, 
don't freeze it, but leave that sex semen fresh and walk it across this parking lot to that facility and they can fertilize the oocytes that we collect out of your donor that same day <laughs> with fresh sorted sex semen. So that's the best way to do it um, on the IVF side or the flushing side. Right. And then the other way is to use uh, sex semen that we may have made in the past that's been frozen and we just thawed out and use it over there. And then the third way um, is what we call a reverse sort, which means you take a straw of older, you know, traditional conventional semen and we can thaw that out into male and female and then use that that semen left over of the gender that you want to fertilize the oocytes in the IVF division. Um, we make two kinds of straws of sex semen. That's another thing everybody needs to understand. We make one straw that's for AI only, and we make another straw that's for flushing only. And the, the only difference between those two straws is the concentration. The flush straw has twice as many cells in it as a, a straw for AI. The quality is the same, so there's no such thing as flush quality, right. it's flush concentration. So so I guess I, I'm, you know, almost kind of playing devil's advocate on this, but is it actually cost effective to do sex semen? Yeah, yeah, we get that. That's the most common question or comment that people have, you know, and um, it's human nature to think that because of the fact that something costs a little bit more, it's not good for me. Um, but we, as a company, have done a tremendous amount of independent economic analysis through Dr. Jim McGran and um, have proven that once you identify what your value and gender difference is between your males and females you know when when that calf hits the ground if you can say if it's a bull calf it's worth a couple of hundred bucks more than the heifer or vice versa or whatever you're after once you identify that value and gender difference being about two hundred dollars or more mm -hmm. it's okay that sex semen costs a little bit more than conventional semen because you're getting 90 percent of the calves that hit the ground of the gender that you need that are worth several hundred dollars more than this gender over here. So uh, just because something costs a little bit more doesn't mean it's not good for you. Awesome. Well, Dustin, we appreciate it. Yeah. And one, fi it. one final question yeah, for you. Yeah. When you're on an airplane, okay, are I was you on one this morning? You were on, I one, was this on one this morning. So yeah. you got a little bit of jet lag right now. A little bit. Okay. Yeah. When you're on an airplane, are you a movie watcher, a book reader, or a person next to you talker? I'm a sleeper. You're a sleeper yeah. every time. Yeah, but I'll tell you something. As you can, people can tell at home, I'm a little tall, so I get really ticked off when the person in front of me mashes the button and pushes their seat back into my knees. Happened this morning. Right. This girl this morning uh, mashed it into my knees, and I have to push it up and maneuver my knees around. So I get ticked about that, but I try to sleep if I can. But I got, I've been reading that the new uh, Bush book, Decision Points. That's usually what I try to read if I read anything, so it's been great, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, Dustin, we appreciate having you. Sure. As you can tell, sex, uh, Sexing Technologies has got some construction going on over here to the right of us. They're growing in leaps and bounds. They're making new uh, breakthroughs every day in sex semen, in the ways to use sex semen. And, and guys, I really encourage you, research it. See if you can't uh, figure out if it's great for your operation, if AI and sexing of semen is good for you. Look up uh, facebook.com forward slash sexing technologies for more information. At the bottom of your screen right now is Dustin's uh, contact info, email and telephone number. Call him if you've got any questions on that. We'll get to you uh, here in just a minute back from the road to do the tech tip of the week. It's going to be another Facebook tip and you're going to want to hear it. Thanks for watching.